What's up guys back in another kind of super video and in today's video it is a should you summon for the new butler Cosma and maid Leah these are going to be the new characters that should come out tomorrow at reset a few things one we have a sneak peek I did a video on it the other day this will probably be the best banner I don't see unless they just like say triple rates or something crazy this will be easily the best banner of january kind of weird because i expected this to be one of the one of two banners before we got the halloween or maybe overlord or something like that but i guess not um which is kind of good because if you do want to throw a multi or two at this banner you you know have a better chance at doing so but let's go over the units before i tell you if you should summon the so butler cosma is a fire type unit he is not limited He's a must for fire and that darkness outfit is not in the game even on JP and it's kind of weird because it resembles her um what is it called I forgot what episode it is but she like goes to her dad's and I've always wondered why we don't have a darkness with like the more formal attire on other than that why is he must for fire because he has a cool trait if you have veneer you're gonna know what I'm talking about he has a plus 6% attack when using fire attacks for all allies. You put him in the back two and all your fire types attacks do more damage. This is pretty much just a added buff. Megumi, the festival one, and Veneer have this for Earth and Crimson Demons respectfully. So you can see why he is a must for fire. I say must, but it's pretty much just if you want to be able to score a top 1k and you don't have Cosmo, it's going to be really, really hard. Other than that, he has 126 elementalist physical damage on his basic. He has a 153% single target fire physical damage and a party tier 2 physical attack buff for allies for 12 seconds. And then he has a 135 AOE fire physical, 177 if above 7% HP. Nothing too crazy at all. You probably won't ever actually want to use him, but he's still good for his trait regardless. A bunch of the units this month are going to have traits like that, so just expect that in general. However, Cosmo beats them for should you summoning because of this character right here. So, you've heard of the infamous Festival Cress. Now, here for the infamous Maid Leah. Maid Leah is one of the best units in the game. I'm not going to get into debating if she's number one on the global version when she comes out, but she's easily in the top contention. Now, you might be wondering why. Well, one, she's fire. Uh, <laughs> there's that. And she is resistant shred. Yes. So she has a plus 6% attack when using physical attacks for her EX skill. She does 126 elementalist physical damage. Then her skills are 162 single target fire physical damage and a tier 2 resist shred debuff for 12 seconds. Then she has a 189 single target fire physical damage, 257 if the target is debuffed. Pretty simple. You know, Cosmo has this as well. The thing with Leah though is Leah's ults are insanely good. Leah's weapons are really good. She can tank attacks pretty well. So she's gonna be around longer, doing pretty good damage. Also, like I said, her ults, she has the booster super gauge one. She has the water rhapsody, which reduces your cooldowns. And then I believe the other one boosts your agility. Is it agility? Hang on. All right, boom. I pause it because I had to pull up the thing. I actually couldn't remember if it was agility or not. But regardless of that, while I look it up, uh, Leah is just an extremely good unit. If you use Leah before, you understand that she's just really good. Uh, the fact that she's a red shred unit for fire is also really, really, really nice. Um. You can get away with using other characters, but generally she is going to be the best, which is, you know, nice. If you don't have Kazuma, Chris, or Melissa, I was almost forgetting who the last one was, this banner is easily a little bit better for you. The only issue I have with it is they are not limited, so you can pull them whenever. So it's like, you know. It's really rough if you should summon or not. Um, if there for some reason is a four star guaranteed uh, portion of the banner, I recommend summoning on that. It, it, it is going to be paid, unfortunately. 
but it's really just up to do you have the quartz to summon on this banner if you are like one of the many individuals that have been saving your four star tickets this is pretty much the time to use them also leah's uh, ultimate or second one ah it's the yeah party two tier agility buff so pretty much all three of her ults are very versatile which makes her really nice other than that if you have a bunch of four star tickets saved I would recommend using them as this Leah and then a future Snow Cecilia. Probably you're going to be your best options for those. We shouldn't get Cecilia for a little bit now, so feel free to let them rip. And you can also pull Cosma in the meantime with those four star tickets if you do care. So, yeah, if you should summon, my verdict is if you're free to play and you have at least three pity saved, two for Overlord. Where you hopefully pull all the characters then have to pity the one you don't pull on both banners and then one for the festival chris i'd say you can throw a few multis at it if you have less than two or three pities be very careful of course i know it kind of sucks to be told to save over and over but it would really suck if you wanted overload characters and you didn't get them and then they never come back that sucks this chris or not chris this leah can be pulled on any banner even like something like overlord or chris if you're lucky enough there's also selection tickets tickets in the future that might have her on it but other than that just keep in mind with your quartz if you're a whale or just like don't care this is a good banner to summon on leah is really good cosma is really good thing is weird is we haven't had a fire arena in a minute we're having a lot of fire characters kind of odd but other than that That'll pretty much be it for the video let me know in the comments if you're going to summon for leo cosma i am curious to see who is the more popular one out of the two which i'm gonna assume it's leah because of what she does and it's a female character you know people tend to like female characters more but that let me know in the comments if you're gonna summon or not how many four star tickets you have i know a lot of you have quite a bit like around 50 which is crazy to me because i have two other than that, let me know how many tickets you have and if you plan to use all of them or just some. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more kind of super content. Upload every single day. I will be making a video on the Wiz that came out on the JP version. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Best of luck with your pulls.